guys, back again to the future, Yahweh Shah here speaking and I just want to give my father Yahweh thanks for life and for strength once again to so all you sincere Akin are pushing this word in truth and in sincerity Shalom, Shalom So, fear thy God because we as Hebrew Israelites have our God which ain't the gods of the heathens like Jesus, Buddha, Islam and all them shit Fear thy God, Father Yahweh Leviticus 25 verse 17 Ye shall not therefore oppress one another But thou shalt fear thy God For I am the Lord your God Yahweh wah, Yahweh shai And the whole matter is to do what? Oppress Yeah, we're gonna look up that word To load our burden with unreasonable imposition To threat or uh, to treat with unjust severity, rigor or hardships as to oppress a nation. You're going to tell me, I know I could smoke. This was our custom. I keep in doing what my father tell me. You shut up. Esau got to pay. All the wicked got to pay. You think you're going to get away? Nowhere. With taxes or contributions to oppress one by compelling him to perform unreasonable service. Two, to overpower, to overburden, as to be oppressed with grief. Verse 18. Wherefore, ye shall do my, sta my statutes and keep my judgments and do them. And ye shall dwell in the land in safety. 19. And the land shall yield her fruit, and ye shall eat your fill, and dwell there in safety. Leviticus 25 verse 41. And then shall ye depart from thee, both he and his children with him, and shall return unto his own family, and unto the possession of his fathers shall he return. People don't want to believe in reincarnation because their God is limited. Yeah? Father Yahweh is limitless. 42. For there are my servants which I brought forth out of the land of Egypt. They shall not be sold as bad men. 43. Thou shalt not rule over with rigor. Silak. Thou shalt not rule over him with rigor. But shall fear thy God. So you have to fear Father Yahweh. Numbers 14 verse 8. If the Lord delight. Delight. And we're going to get into the word. In us. Then he will bring us into this land. Bulgaria. And give it us. A land which floweth with milk and honey. So delight. To affect with great pleasure. To please highly, satisfaction or joy as a beautiful landscape. Bulgaria is very, very beautiful. Believe it or not. And his minds are my people one. Delights the eye. See look, a beautiful landscape delights the eye. Harmony delights the ear. The good conduct of children and especially their piety delights their Appearance. So Father Yahweh happy to receive great pleasure in. Yeah? So verse 9. Listen, Antichrist, yeah? All of you who are against me, this, that, that. Listen. Only rebel not. Listen. You can't you say listen. Only rebel not ye against the Lord. Neither fear ye the people of the land. For they are bread for us. Their defense is departed from them. So, stop right there. Father Yahweh, yeah, was the defense for them before. Yeah, because he let this happen to us. And the lies that they put up like Jesus and different things as well too was a defense for them as well too. Their defense is departed from them. And the Lord is with us. 
fear them not. And I'm not afraid of the people here in Bulgaria or anywhere because I know the truth. And you're gonna have to give me what is mine. Or I'm gonna whip off your fucking face. Deuteronomy 3, verse 22. Ye shall not fear them. For the Lord, your, your God, he shall fight for you. Deuteronomy 28, verse 58. If thou wilt not observe to do all the words of his law that are written in this book, that thou mayest fear this glorious and fearful name, the Lord thy God, yeah, which is Yahweh, and my name is Yahweh Shai. You understand? 59. Then the Lord will make thy plagues wonderful. Wonderful. Yeah? Plagues ain't no wonderful thing, yeah? But listen, 59. Then the Lord will make thy plagues wonderful, and the plagues of thy seed even great plagues. And of long, how long we in captivity now? And of long countenance, and sore sickness, and of long, and of long, again they say it here, countenance. And we got to come out of this captivity, come out of this. 60. Moreover, he will bring upon thee all the diseases of Egypt with which thou was afraid of AIDS, COVID-19, yeah? Any little thing you got COVID-19, yeah? And they shall cleave unto thee. 61. Also every sickness and every plague which is not written in the book of this law, then with them will the Lord bring upon thee until thou, thou be destroyed. So read 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, and 68. Deuteronomy 31, verse 6. Be strong and of good courage. Fear not, nor be afraid of them. For the Lord thy God, he it is that doth go with thee. He will not fail thee, nor forsake thee. 5. And the Lord shall give them up before your face, that ye may do unto them according to unto all the commandments which I have commanded you. Deuteronomy 31 verse 8 And the Lord, he it is that doth go before thee. He will be with thee. He will not fail, neither forsake thee. Fear not, neither be dismayed. Verse 12 Gather the people together, men and women and children, and thy stranger that is within thy gates, that they may fear, that they may hear, and that they may learn and fear the Lord, your God, because they have different gods. And observe to look, if you can see, eh, to do all the words of this law. 13. And that their children which have not known anything, listen, and that their children which have not known anything may hear and learn and learn to fear the Lord, your God. Because you got to learn because I didn't know nothing. As long as ye live in the land whether ye go over Jordan to possess it. And that land is Bulgaria again. The people who are rulers over here, come! I'm fucking waiting for you a long time. You know who I be, I know who I be. You can stop play games. You understand? I'm gonna smack off all of your fucking face. Whip it to fuck off when it's time. You deserve it. You understand? Shalom.